I guess in a bit of shock and surprise. I think it's it's one of those things that obviously I've seen the likes of Jill Scott and Steph Horton, all these kind of legends of women's football being awarded. Rachel Yankee, I think she has an OBE. Um, yeah, just these legends. And then to see the email and to be um, kind of recognised for everything I've done throughout my career was it's kind of a little bit surreal. It's, it's just, it's something so different to football that it's something that it's harder to, com- I guess, kind of compute in your brain compared to winning a, an award of football. It's not expected, but it's more the norm and it's it's something that you're used to kind of seeing and, and, and thinking about. But yeah, an MB is obviously something that's, a huge honour and, and very, very special. And- yeah, well, you're not supposed to tell anyone, um, but I rang... The first person I told was actually my grandma. Um, I think, like I said, so, so many people understand things in football and my grandma's probably doesn't understand as many awards in football, but I think the MBE was something that, yeah, obviously with, with the Queen previously as well, she absolutely adored the Queen. Um, so my grandma was the one that thought this is going to be a uh, kind of her special thing that she understands within football because she doesn't always understand the FIFA awards and, and things like that, although she's my biggest fan. I think for me, 2022 was definitely special. Um, but I guess, yeah, winning the Euros is, is the top of everybody's kind of list of achievements now. Uh, the only thing that we could outdo ourselves with is winning the World Cup, which is next year so it's a possibility uh, but yeah this year in general has just been I guess beyond expectation for all of us um, we all wanted to win the Euros and, and to make a difference and to change women's football in England and to have done that and and more is is just incredible I think it's 2022 will be yeah one of the biggest years to remember in in those 23 girls who went to the Euros in, in our lifetime. I mean, I don't, maybe some of the other girls did, but I'm just not like that. Even even tournaments where we have lost, I've never had a doubt that we were going to lose. Uh, even if we were, you know, we'd been knocked out of semi finals at score lines like 2 1. I think in my head, I've always thought, yeah, we're going to win this, we're going to win this. Um, I've always been that person that's thought we're going to win no matter what. So, yeah, the Euros it didn't really change and I was so confident in, in the girls that were on the pitch, the girls that were on the bench, the players that we had, the coaches, the staff. Yeah, it was like, if we don't win this, like, what more can we do? Um, And I think we all kind of had that mentality that we've done all that we can and we've just got to go out and play 90 minutes, 120 minutes and what will be, will be. We've done the most we can. We've tried our best. Um, there wasn't much more that we could have done and obviously our best was enough uh, in the summer. I mean, I think there's always going to be some sort of barriers. I think there is in in everything, um, regardless of it being a women's sport or whether it's football, there's always going to be those kind of ceilings put on by other people. Um, We've shown throughout the years that we can push them ceilings higher, we can smash through them, that we can knock down barriers. Um. Um, honestly, I've, there's not many tournaments I've gone to with England and I've not thought we should be one of the favourites. Um, I think winning the Euros maybe is, puts it in other people's heads and other people's minds that we're a favourite because we now know how to win and we're, we've beaten the best and we've, we've got to a final. We've knocked that kind of semi-final curse that's that's gone now. Um, but even the previous World Cup, I think we were named as one of the favourites. Going into the Euros, we were named as one of the favourites. Um, I can imagine, yeah, going to this twenty twenty three, we'll be named as one of the favourites. Um, and it's a it's a pressure that I guess we want to have. We want to be the best team. We want to we want to win the World Cup. Um, and yeah, we we now have experience of winning, and we know that winning the World Cup will be just as hard, if not harder. Uh, now that we kind of have got a little bit of a target on our back. But listen, we've got an amazing squad of players. Um, Obviously, players have retired and since the, the Euros, but there's still plenty of good young players coming through. We've got a really healthy squad um, and we're continuing to improve. We come off the back of the Euros and our first question was, what can we do better? 